histograms. On some exam questions, you're going to be given a frequency table, a grouped frequency table, and be asked to fill in a histogram. On other questions, you'll be given a table and a partially completed histogram. You may be asked just to complete the histogram, so to add the rest of the columns on, and you may also be asked to fill in some gaps in the frequency table from the histogram. First off, we're going to look at how you draw bars on a histogram from the frequency table. So, first thing we need to do is add a couple of columns to do our working on this table. First off, we're going to add a column called class width. Now, the class width is the difference between the numbers that describe the class. So, this is saying x. The time is x, so the time is between 0 and 10. So the class width would be 10. If we check which columns we actually need to do, we only need to do the last two here. So we're going to do the class width of this column, so it's between 25 and 30, so the class width is 5. This one is between 30 and 50, so the class width is 20. Next, we need to work out the frequency density. To work out the frequency density, we take the frequency and we divide it by the class width. So I'm going to do 22 divided by 5. And that gives me an answer of 4.4. Next, I'm going to do 12 divided by 20. 12 divided by 20 is 0 0.6. Okay, so now we can now we've done that information we can put it onto our histogram. First off, I'm going to do this column here between 25 and 30. So it's between 25 which is here and 30. 25 which is here and 30 which is here. And the height is the frequency density which is 4.4 so I need to carefully look at my scale and work out where 4.4 is so 4.4 is that high and my column will go up to there so with my ruler I'm just going to finish off the rest of that column okay next I'm going to fill in this column which is between 30 and 50 so it starts at 30, goes up to 50. And the height of the column is 0 0.6. So I need to carefully work out where 0 0.6 is. This goes up to 0 0.8. So 0 0.4 would be there, and 0 0.6 is halfway between. So that's there. Now I can draw my line across there. and complete the box. Done. We've filled our last two bars onto the histogram. This one was zero frequency, wouldn't have a bar anyway, so we don't need to worry about that. Last thing we need to do. Now our histogram is complete, we need to fill in these missing frequencies. Now a frequency is the area of your bar. To do the area of a rectangle, we do the base, times by the height. So for my second one here between 10 and 20 I work out the base so the base is from 10 to 20 so the base is 10 because it's 10 wide and the height I look carefully at my scale it's halfway between 3.4 sorry 2.4 and 3.2 so that is going to be 2.8 so I just do 2.8 times by 10, which gives me my answer of 28. So the frequency is 28. Next one, the width of this bar is 5, and the height, you need to be quite careful here. So that one there would be, so it goes from between 5.6 and 6.4, so halfway up there would be 6. 
So we're looking at halfway between 6 and 6.4, which is going to be 6.2. So the bar is 6.2 high, and it's 5 wide. So the frequency is 31. I've just done 6.2 times by 5 to work out the area. Okay, so then we're done. I've filled in the missing columns, sorry, the missing rows on my frequency table, and I've put the additional bars required on my histogram. So, just to recap, to get information from this group frequency table to the histogram, work out the class width, then do the frequency divided by the class width, and that gives you your frequency density. Frequency density is the height of the bar on the histogram. Then to get information back out of the histogram we need to work out the area of a bar. So we take its width, multiply it by its height and that gives us the frequency that we can fill in wherever there's a blank on our table.